popular Russia. History is our memory. The historical genre is a special direction of the world cinema, it will never get bored of it. With each new film, we pay tribute to past centuries, battles and battles, palace coups and intrigues, statesmen and ordinary people, without which the history of human existence would not have taken place. Domestic cinema periodically releases pictures of the genre in question. The best Russian historical series will be the topic of our video. What are you scared of? It's terrifying when everyone wants you dead. Spine-chilling series about the most notorious female serial killer in Russian history. She widowed at a young age, got rejected by her lover, and turned into a monster. To have her revenge on men, she tortured and murdered over a hundred innocent peasants. The blood widow got caught, stripped of all her titles, and sentenced to life in a monastery prison. Obsessive. No! Go to hell! Go to hell! The Blood Widow. I am the power here! I am! My God, please don't punish people for my sins. 16th century. After the death of Ivan the Terrible Russia entered the dreadful times of troubles, resulting in the conspiracies of nobility, popular uprisings, and the invasions of the Crimean Tatars. The mysterious death of the heir to the throne ended the rule of an ancient dynasty. For the first time, the Russian people and clergy elected a Tsar. It was Boris Godunov. And Tsarevich Dmitry is alive. I will not let them spill. The blood of Tsar's son I won't allow it. Vasilisov is not a historical narrative, but rather a reflection of the legend about passion and love that sprang to life amidst battles in cold Russian winter. In August 1812, a French military unit breaks into Vasilisa's village and accidentally kills her husband, the village mayor. Vasilisa, mad with grief, throws herself at the offenders. What will be stronger, love or hatred? Forced to make this difficult choice? Who is that extraordinary Russian peasant woman, an enraged warrior or a woman in love? Nineteen oh four. The Russian Japanese War. Manchuria. Russian military hospital on the retreat stations in a half destroyed Chinese village. The head of the hospital, Sergei Karenin, learns that the wounded officer Count Vronsky is the person who ruined his mother, Anna Karenina. Harboring no illusions and expecting no answers, Karenin comes to Vronsky and asks him the question which has been tormenting him all his life What made his mother cross the line? Thirteenth century Russia. On the prince's orders, seven of his guardsmen set out to find Alexander, the missing heir to the throne. The death of the young prince is in the interests of enemies who are on a quest to conquer Russia. The brave warriors fearlessly battle the Normans, the Vikings and Teutonic Knights. Their mission is to save the boy who is destined to become the great Alexander Nevsky, who forever changed the future of Russia. In 1472, the last Byzantium princess named Sophia moves from Rome to distant Muscovy to marry the Tsar Ivan III. She dreams of establishing a new Byzantium. Hostility of the court, betrayals, and false accusations await her instead. 
Empowered by love and faith, Sofia defeats her enemies to become the first influential woman in Russian history. She stands firmly next to her husband helping Ivan consolidate disintegrated country, push the Mongolian invaders out, and build Moscow Kremlin the most magnificent symbol of Russia. The life of the most controversial and mysterious Russian ruler, Ivan IV, is light and darkness. Torn between mercy and cruelty, the deeply religious Tsar considered himself an awful sinner. Despite being an incredibly educated and literary gifted person, a reformer and a creator, he was a cruel tyrant. The greatest statesman went through glorious victories and bitter defeats. He was blessed with big love, which he eventually lost in the darkness of plots and intrigues. This tragedy changed him, and Ivan IV morphed into infamous Ivan the Terrible, brutal and ruthless. The daughter of an impoverished Prussian prince prepares to marry the future Tsar of Russia, Peter III. She dreams of love, but the Tsar prefers war games and shows little interest in women. Her girlish innocence soon disappears into vice, her tender nature is replaced by cold fury, and she channels her loneliness into a quest for power. This aggrieved young woman, full of strength, would go on to conquer both land and hearts, hand-pick grenadiers to become her lovers, suppress rebellions, and converse with prominent European philosophers. She would become Catherine the Great. Jack the Ripper leaves behind a trail of victims and escapes from London to St. Petersburg. Sherlock Holmes leaves Dr. Watson in England and goes after the deadly killer to St. Petersburg. In Russia, he meets Dr. Kartsev, from whom he rents a living room. Dr. Kartsev starts helping him solve very strange, confusing, and complicated crimes, and Holmes is once again forced to convince law enforcement authorities of the correctness of his deductive methods of investigation. The end of the 13th century. The envoy of the Golden Horde Mengu Temer, a handsome and connoisseur of female beauty arrives in the capital of Russia. He came to steal thousands of Russian soldiers into the Horde, but he is ready to be content with only a part if Grand Duke Yaroslav returns the Princess Astinia, the wife of his brother Boris. Yaroslav is not ready to violate the laws of faith and honor, but Boris himself is taking this step, hoping that this sacrifice will ensure him a princely throne. The Stinya with a caravan goes to a foreign land. Mengu leaves Yaroslav a gift from the great Khan young Narges, who awakens the prince to life and puts him before a fateful choice. On one side of the scales love and passion, on the other, the throne and the life of Narges herself, which neither the people nor the lawful wife of Yaroslav accepts.
8-hour epic based on the book of the same name by Lev Tolstoy. Two main storylines are complex and intertwined. One is the love story of young Countess Natasha Rostova and Count Pierre Bezikov, who is unhappy in his marriage. Another is the Great Patriotic War of 1812 against the invading Napoleon's armies. The people of Russia from all classes of society stand up united against the enemy. The 500,000-strong Napoleon's army moves through Russia and causes much destruction, culminating in the Battle of Borodino. The Russian army has to retreat. Moscow is occupied, looted and burned down, but soon Napoleon loses control and has to flee. Both sides suffer tremendous losses in the war, and Russian society is left irrevocably changed. The events unfold in 1915 to 1917. The Marxist theoretician and publicist Alexander Parvis, who fled to Germany from a Russian exile during the First World War has been successfully negotiating with German Foreign Minister Gottlieb von Jago. As a result of negotiations, the German government allocates money to Parvis personally for organizing a revolution in the belligerent Russian Empire. On the funds received Parvis finances and remotely stimulates protest actions of the popular masses in St. Petersburg, which lead to the abdication of the power of Emperor Nicholas II and the overthrow of the monarchy in the Russian Empire. Then Parvis organizes the return to Russia of the emigration of the leader of the Bolsheviks, Vladimir Lenin, with a group of his associates. The actions of Parvis are being resisted by the head of the Russian Imperial Counterintelligence, Prince Vasily Turkestinov, and Counterintelligence Officer Alexei Mazensev. Go ahead. If you follow the path of evil and never turn back or turn away, some mysterious force protects you. Zuleha. It's the story of a peasant woman Zuleika from a small Tatar village. In 1930 there is the Soviet campaign of political repressions of gulags. Zulika's husband resisted deculakization and was killed by communists. Zulika was transported to Siberia and left in a remote location on Angara River with little means of survival. She had to overcome the harsh conditions, build relationships with other exiles and forge her new identity and reasons for living. Hello and welcome to Siberia. Zulika opens her eyes. Popular Russia.